the tape for this light heavyweight fight from Winnipeg. So Shinsky, 33 years old, five years the elder of Masenzio. So Shinsky will have a four inch reach advantage with the official introductions. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record, 12 wins, four losses. Standing six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 201 pounds. Fighting out of Patterson, New Jersey, USA, the master of disaster, Mike Massencio. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner of mixed martial artist, holding a professional record, 21 wins, 11 losses, one draw, standing six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, USA, by way of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, Christoph, the Polish experiment, Sarzyski. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Kevin Dornan. Kevin Dornan, our referee. Christoph Soshinsky. All right. Against Mike Masenzio. Get back, get back, get back. Ready? Let's fight. Here we go. White trunks for the Polish experiment. Masenzio in the black trunks. Both men southpaw. Masenzio looking for an early takedown. Very nicely done by Masenzio. But you got to look out for that Kimura because that is Soshinsky's signature move. And he looks for it immediately. Christoph right back up. Masenzio taking this fight on just a few days' notice. Mike Constantino got the call. He was so excited. Usually fights at 185, Joe. Yeah, I was about to say that and only weighed in at 201. Yeah. That shows what great shape he keeps in. Another in between down. Very quick level change by Masenzio. Yeah, Masenzio was very, very eager to get back into the UFC. And believes this is an excellent opportunity for him. Had a fight of the night with Brian Stan, and man, what a role Stan is on right now. Defeated Drew McFedries. 12 wins in his MMA career. Masenzio, 21 for Christoph, a true veteran of the sport. And he's won eight of his last 10. So Shinsky on a roll. Shinsky with a good, solid right jab. Christoph excited to fight here in Vancouver once again. Fought Stephen Barner here one year ago, and it was a fight of the night. And Christoph has been working on the Kevin James movie, Here Comes the Boom, where he plays uh, the number one bad guy and uh, did a, a fantastic job. And we got a chance to work with him and got to see all his training while he was down there in Boston. And Asensio gets the double. Ken Dietrich. The bad guy. And Christoph is one of, like a lot of our fighters, Joe, one of the nicest, most polite young men away from it. Inside, they just love to compete. And he's been doing it a long time. He's very excited to be back as well. Had both of his knees scoped and a deviated septum fixed in his nose. So, uh, in the, the long months that he's been out, He's been really recovering from those surgeries and uh, very, very excited to get back in there. Mixed his training up a bit. Was at the Rain Training Center with Mark Munoz and Fabricio Verdum and the crew there. Born in Poland, moved from Poland to Canada, Winnipeg, Manitoba at age 10. Sinzio again looks to shoot, but this time Szynski stuffs it. Very nicely done by Szynski in a big right hand. And he was looking to push forward the whole time once he stuffed that takedown. He was looking to punish Masenzio. Kristoff is clearly the bigger man in this fight. He's a big light heavyweight, and he's a very strong guy. Well, and you said, Joe, Masenzio weighed in at 201. But, you know, it shows you how game Masenzio is. He doesn't care what weight class is. He just wants an opportunity to get back in there and Absolutely. win. Oh. Big leg kick and a nice takedown by Masenzio on top. Masenzio's cut a bit. 
Vicenzio is a uh, solid brown belt under Edson Calvallo. Trying to pass here. Inside control. Keeping that head in the armpit of Szynski. And watch for the right arm of Masenzio because as he moves into that position, Szynski gets right back up to his feet. Very nicely done. I was going to say, it looked like Masenzio was hunting for a, uh, an arm triangle. Wouldn't be surprising. Five of his last six wins have been by submission. Four of those chokes. Kevin Dornan splits the fighters up right back to the action. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why Brian Stan's victory over him was so impressive. When Brian caught him in that triangle off his back, you know, showed a real a side of Brian that we hadn't seen before. Really improving radically with every fight. And we really saw that against Santiago in his last fight. Brian Stan just looked absolutely outstanding and really seems to be taking over at 185. Got caught. Oh, Asensio got clipped a couple of times there. Yeah. Heavy. Christoph Szynski on top of him here. And Christoph may have weighed in at 205, but he's probably somewhere around 220 right now. And he's trying to put all that extra size and weight and strength on top of Masenzio. And if nothing less, wear him down. And he is doing that right now and, and landing some good solid punches as well. Great, great first round now. First round, you got some more punches, less fake counts. Okay, you got to fake, at least fake more punches. Here, take a step. All right, you got that first round. I want to see more punches, okay? He knows it's coming, okay? You're doing good, bro. You won the first round, okay? I want to see that second, third round. You got to make it happen now. Less, less and here we see Kristoff with a solid right jab. up you good yep. good hey feeling good good get your range give me quicker hands let that lift second out ready to go all right ready round two Let's set for the start of round two a lot of respect you know Kristoff has towards Mike Vicenzio taking this fight. First it was supposed to be Anthony Perosh, then Igor Pokryats. And Vicenzio able to step in and happy to go to battle. And Vicenzio a very different fighter too, Mike. Much more grappling oriented yeah. than either one of those guys. Well, actually not than Perosh, but definitely than Pokryats. Of course, the submission Kristoff loves the most, the Kimura. He yeah. used it to win his first two UFC fights. And I was really interested in seeing Perosh again at 205. He looked great in his 205 debut. Hopefully he heals up and we'll see him back again. Real solid jujitsu from Perosh. Vicenzio holding on to that single, but Kristoff using his size and power and solid technique to avoid the takedown and staying heavy on the back of Vicenzio. Christoph. They have a common opponent, and that is Brian Stan. And Christoph was able to submit Stan with a, his patented Kimura, whereas, as we said before, Vicenzio was submitted by Stan. Christoph is going for a standing guillotine here, Mike. It appears he has the neck. He's got a front choke here. If you watch him slide the arm one way or the other, whether it's to the left or to the right, you'll see if he's actually trying to submit him or just holding him in position. Stan fought Soshinsky at 205. He was 185 when he fought Masenzio. Yeah, as we said, Stan uh, is doing much better at 185. That really is his weight class. When you want to talk about a man of character, you talk about Brian Stan. And these two men are about at the midway point of this fight, and Soshinsky still trying to control with his superior strength. Masenzio able to get up. 
Asensio clearly wants to bring this fight down to the ground. Knee by Christoph Soshinsky. <clears throat> and again and again. Zinski's so happy that he got that nose operation. He's able to breathe out of his deviated septum again. And so many fighters suffer from that. And they don't realize what a, a, a deficit it is to your cardio until you get it fixed. Good sprawl a moment ago as Masenzio tried to get it down to the ground again, Joe. Now Sojinski throwing that lead jab. Yeah, Masenzio keeps finding himself in this position with the big, strong Sosinski on top of him here. Now Sosinski trying to spin around to the back. Again, he tried to find that home one more time for that left. There's a good left there by Szynski as well. Szynski again shoots, drives him all the way up to the cage. Man, Szynski is so strong. Man, it's so relaxed there, Joey. It's almost, it's almost like he knew the territory. He's been in the octagon so many times. Well, Masenzio has outstanding technique, and he is a great grappler, but Szynski's a much bigger guy. And as we said, probably right now in the octagon, about 20 pounds of muscle heavier than him. Not just muscle, but bone, the frame of Szynski. Very thick guy. Former power lifter, actually fought 22 times in his MMA career as a heavyweight. Did he really fought 22 times as a heavyweight? Yeah. That's that's so weird because his record officially is 21, 11, and 1. Was it, was it an unofficial record? Is that what it was? Yeah, 22 times he used to own and operate a fight promotion in Canada. So, so it's just not yeah. Yeah. on the official record? Correct. Yeah, is? a lot of them. Oh, oh my big, big up here, punches Joe. by Szynski. You know, that is such the case with the earlier MMA fights. For sure. The sport is so young, a lot of them just aren't official. Yeah. Because his official record is 21, 11, and 1. Hey, let me know when I got 15 seconds, okay? For seconds out. I right, said, sit down. Sit down. Yeah, you're good, bro. So when he punches, that's what you shoot, not when you punch, okay? Well, let him throw something big, then you go under it. I don't want to see taking more shots like that. Let him throw, so he puts his weight on his front, throw it, and throw more big hands, throw more fakes, throw some right hands. Left hands and right hands. Follow up with the hook or the uppercut, right up. And here we see Szynski with a nice left hand and a nice one-two with the right and the left. Just a bigger, stronger man putting it on Masenzio here. Masenzio doing his best to get this fight to the ground. What a show of respect, Mike. Yep, five minutes left in this fight. 34th professional fight for Soshinsky. 17th for Masenzio, so both men very experienced. In the sprawl, and then he pushes and leans on Vicenzio from this position. He's got his back here. He's trying to flatten him out. Vicenzio rolls over, but Christoph is in side control here. Vicenzio has to be careful of these arms because from this position, Sosinski is a master of the Kimura. And he has a bunch of different setups that he uses to catch it with. The moment you see him isolating one of the arms of Vicenzio, that's when he's got problems. And Kristoff really staying heavy on top here. 
And Almasenzi has to look out for that left arm of his, because that's the one Kristoff's going to go for. Vicenzio's grabbing wrist control on it, but in keeping that arm extended, he's got to make sure that Kristoff doesn't get on top of him with any sense of control of his body and snake a left arm under his armpit. Good elbows here by Szczynski. Note the left arm, Mike. As he turns, the left arm that he's punching with is the one he's going to try to sneak under the armpit. And believe me, Szczynski's looking for it. See, see the left arm? Working at it. Yep, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yep. He's got the wrist now. Now watch him try to switch. Masenzio knows what's going on. And he doesn't want to let go of the arm of Szczynski because he knows if he does, Szczynski will switch to the double wrist lock position. This is very close here for Kristoff. And Kristoff will try to butter him, loosen him up here. Yeah, he keeps going for it. He's hunting for that left arm of Masenzio. Wants to finish this fight. Oh, big knee to the body. That one on the shoulder. And that one back to the body. Masenzio has got to get out of this spot. Man, Masenzio taking some punishment here. Uh, look at the torque behind that knee. Those are brutal shots. And again. He's trying to break down Mike Masenzio. The New Jersey native, who's just shown all kinds of guts tonight. Oh, another vicious knee to the body. Two minutes remain in this fight. Masenzio's just taking those shots. Again, Szczynski snakes that left arm under and controlling the wrist. And Masenzio knows what he's trying to do. And that's why Masenzio is doing a really good job of holding on to the wrist of Szczynski. But he's in a, a completely defensive mode at this point. He's been in this position for quite a while. Man, Masenzio's taking just countless shots to the rib cage from the left knee of Krzysztof Szczynski. And some big punches. Szczynski's got his neck here. Trying to finish it right here. He's got the bulldog choke. Oh, he lost oh, it, though. Masenzio on top. Now wow. Masenzio wants how, something. Look how quickly Kristoff got back up to his feet, though. Wisely so. Because Masenzio tried to grab hold of Kristoff Szczynski's neck. You know, I think Masenzio's just a little tired to hold on to the position. All right, stop. Stop. Great. Face me, hey, face me. 45 seconds. Hunting down Masenzio. Sprawling again. Masenzio trying so hard for that yeah, takedown. Such good takedown defense. Look, he, showed, he showed a lot of guts taking this fight. Both taking this fight on short notice and at 205 pounds. Not his natural weight class. And fighting right to the final bell. Well, it's the dream call you get when it's the call that has UFC attached to it. And Vicenzio, as you said, happy to return to the octagon. And he goes the distance with the Polish experiment. Here's a nice knee to the face by Krzysztof Szczynski. And here's some vicious elbows to the body. And he also got off some really, really brutal knees to the body here in the ground and pound. Just over and over again, punishing the body of Mike Masenzio. They go the distance. Just punishing knees to the midsection in that third and final round. Winnipeg, Manitobas, Christoph Soshinsky.
First time I fought a wrestler in a very long time. It was 15 weeks preparing for a jiu-jitsu guy, and I was a brawler, so didn't get a chance to prepare for a wrestler. I'm sorry. No apologies needed from Kristoff taking on the wrestler. He was ready to take on the jiu-jitsu guy, as he mentioned. The decision is in, and here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 30-27, 30-26, and 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Christoph the Polish Experiment Sozinski. Another UFC win for Christoph. All right, I'm here with the winner, Christoph Sozinski. You, you just said sorry. That was a great performance. What are you sorry about? I'm uh, not finishing the fight. It was... Uh... Three days ago, I got the news that I'm fighting a wrestler. I just wasn't prepared for a wrestler. I've trained for 15 weeks for a jiu-jitsu guy and a striker for the last four. And then all of a sudden on Monday, I get a word that I don't have an opponent and I got to fight a wrestler the next day. Is that really frustrating for you to have two opponents fall out? I know this was a big fight for you. After the surgeries, you really wanted to come back strong. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, like I said, I was getting prepared for one thing. And next thing you know, I got thrown in the hat for something else. But it's okay, I'm a MMA fighter, this is what I get ready for. I felt great, my conditioning was good, I just hope, I, I just wish I would have finished. Well, you stifled all of his takedown attempts, you maintained the top position. Mark thinking, Munoz, baby, that's Mark Munoz's work, you're working with me. Well, you did a fantastic job, you got the W, and we look forward to seeing you again. Christoph Szynski, ladies and gentlemen. My after party's at Denny's. Check me out on uh, Twitter, at KSauce UFC, to follow for the way to go. Congratulations to the Polish experiment. A winner tonight in Vancouver.